What's up guys, I wanted to give you a quick rundown of the hardware for the Sony Xperia Z. So I'm just going to dive straight into some of these specs. It comes in at a weight of 146 grams, which isn't the uh, lightest nor the heaviest phone out at the moment. Um, but due to its size and its uh, overall build, it does feel very good in your hand. The weight is distributed really nicely across your hand and it doesn't feel very heavy. It does have a nice uh, build quality and it does feel very premium. Now, in comparison to my Nexus 4 here, guys, which is, on paper is actually lighter than the Xperia Z coming in at 139 compared to 146, um, they both feel pretty much identical in the hand. If not the Gal if not the uh, Sony Xperia Z, sorry, feels a little bit lighter, and that's due to the fact that it's a bigger phone, so the weight is distributed really nicely across the device. If we look at the uh, thinness, it comes in at 7.9 millimeters thick. Again, not the thinnest nor the thickest phone. Comparing it to my Nexus 4 here, if I put them together, you can see the Nexus 4 is definitely thicker, coming in at 9.1 millimeters. But uh, yeah, now the phones themselves, you can see the size difference here. If I put them together, the Xperia Z is obviously bigger. Pretty obvious why, guys, the Xperia Z has a bigger screen. It comes with a monster 5-inch display, which is a full 1080p. So we've got a 1920 by 1080 and a pixel density of 441. So uh, you're not going to see any pixels. The pixel density is amazing. Everything looks really sharp. It's also got some... Uh, Bravia technology going on underneath the hood, which makes photos and videos look fantastic, which I'll show you in another video. If we move on to what's underneath the uh, underneath the hood, guys, we've got the S4 Pro with the Adreno 320 coupled with two gigabytes of RAM. So we've got a quad core 1.5 gigahertz processor, which is powering this and it makes for a fluid UI and there's no lag and it's uh, really nice. You can just see how quick and speedy the whole thing is. Now, what's really cool about this phone, guys, is the fact that it's fully waterproof and dustproof. So if you go ahead and drop this down the toilet, like apparently a lot of people do, you're not going to break your phone. If you uh, spill a drink over it, it's going to be okay. And that's really, really nice. I, uh, I love the fact that it's waterproof. I think all phones should now be waterproof because, you know, water damage is something that happens a lot. Also dustproof, so uh, you're not going to get any dust in the cracks and it's not going to uh, mess stuff up under the screen, which is uh, nice. At the back, guys, we've got a 13 megapixel camera, which is obviously capable of shooting 1080p. Looks really nice. Also focus and flash. And at the front, we've got a 2 megapixel camera that's capable of shooting 1080p as well. So that's good for your uh, Google Hangouts and stuff like that. Now, let's just have a quick tour around the actual device. So what makes this phone waterproof and what, what helps it makes it waterproof is the fact that all the ports you can see are covered by these... Um, plastic flaps which you know they need to be covered if otherwise how would it be waterproof so you can see every uh, port is covered by one of these and we've got the uh, micro micro sd card slot underneath here so you can uh, have your micro sd card slot expand the memory you've also got your micro usb above it and you've got a dot connector on the left as well at the top guys top right hand corner i should say you've got your um, headphone jack which again is covered by uh, a bit of plastic on the right, you've got your SIM card tray. You've got a big power button, which you can see if I put it there, does actually come away from the device quite a lot, nice and silver. And on the right, you've got your volume rocker below it. Nothing on the bottom, not as far as I know. The actual design is actually really nice. You can see it's pretty much just a rectangle, just a slab of technology. All your sensors are here, like your accelerometers and all that sort of stuff. You've got your light sensors at the top, microphones, speakers, all that sort of stuff is all here and standard. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much the hardware, guys. Stay tuned because I'll be doing some uh, initial reviews and some software reviews as well, checking out the camera and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, see you guys later.